Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss pigeonhole principle. If k pigeonholes are occupied by k plus one or more pigeons, then at least one pigeonhole is occupied by more than one pigeon. For example, suppose we have seven pigeons and six pigeon holes. Now, if each pigeon occupies one pigeon hole, then we will be left with one pigeon without a pigeon hole because here number of pigeons is greater than number of pigeon holes. That is, 7 is greater than 6. So to accommodate all the pigeons, there will exist one pigeon hole with more than one pigeon. Thus, this is the pigeon hole principle. Let us consider an example. Suppose there are 13 people in the party. Show that at least two people in the party were born in the same month. Here we know that number of people in the party is 13 and number of months in a year is 12. So clearly 13 is greater than 12. That is number of people in the party is greater than number of months in a year. So by pigeonhole principle if the number of people are considered as pigeons and the number of months are considered as pigeonholes, then at least two people in the party were born in the same month. Now let us discuss generalized pigeonhole principle. If n objects are placed into k boxes, then there is at least one box containing at least smallest integer greater than or equal to n by k objects. For example, if there are 100 people in a party, then at least how many people will have their birthdays in the same month? Here, number of people is equal to n, which is equal to 100. Number of months is equal to k, which is equal to 12. Now, using the generalized pigeonhole principle, at least smallest integer greater than or equal to n by k will have their birthdays in the same month. So, Smallest integer greater than or equal to n by k 
is equal to smallest integer greater than or equal to n by 12, which is equal to smallest integer greater than or equal to 8.3, that is equal to 9. This implies that at least 9 people will have birthday in the same month. Thus in this session we have discussed about pigeonhole principle and generalized pigeonhole principle. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.